Our next Māori landowner is Tamaline Painting, chair of Utakura 7 Incorporated, just north of Auckland. She shares her story of how Whenua Oho has helped them navigate current and future long-term lease options on their whenua, with the hope of creating a better future for their uri. Utukura 7 Dengua o tō mātou a Kopareihana i whakatūria tērā Kopareihana e ngā tūpuna i te tau kotahi mano i warau ono te kaumāwaru Hei huarahi pe hei whaiuranga mō ngā hapu e noho tōnu ana ki tērā wāhi i taua wā kua nuku te nuinga ki te kinga taone, hei whai, hei whai, uh, kia whai oranga mō rātou me o rātou whānau, ne? And so there were only a handful of people left and it went from being a bustling, thriving little community to becoming, well, what we see putanui Aotearoa, you know, those smaller communities that just struggle. And so in 1972, a forestry lease was signed to maybe achieve some of those aspirations, you know, create that economic base and provide uh, work for those who stayed on the whenua, those who chose to just stay and um, create a life for themselves and their whānau within, within the Rauru or Utukura. Uh, and that has actually been uh, one of the sole, well, actually the sole um, mamai for our people for our hapu, for our whānau, that daily reminder that that forest that stands there has, they've derived so very little from it, you know, economically, but also in terms of uh, work, access to it, all sorts of things, kind of been very much estranged from their own whenua. And that has been a cankerous sore that has, um, yeah, that has affected quite a lot of our whānau from that time, right up to this very day. Well, whenua oho has been crucial in uh, achieving a more equitable outcome with our forestry uh, leaseholder because uh, we are at a point in our lease where we are obliged to negotiate an extension. And that's probably the only opportunity we have ever had or will have had. Uh, so making sure that we got the right people involved was, was critical to being able to achieve that level of equity that we're chasing. And um, another thing was when we when we looked up Fenua Oho when we uh, on their website page was um, Te Kapunga Mokorangi a Mokonui Arangi Jews. Now Mokonui Arangi is one of our tino marae. <laughs> and Kia Mato a he tino tohu ko te rata tangata te ko he afina i a Mato kia kia tutuki kia tutuki pai o o Mato here here o Mato tu mana. is made up of some very you know, highly skilled people but not one of us have any forestry expertise <laughs> and knowing what questions to ask and who to uh, engage to get the to actually help fill in those information gaps understanding uh, the industry well enough that he knows uh, when he's being told something that is inaccurate and being able to chase that down. And he is like a dog with a bone, making sure that he gets what he wants from the right people. I totally believe that we um, had the right person because he's Māori and that doesn't necessarily translate always to them understanding uh, what, what the aspirations, what it is we're trying to achieve. But in this instance, I'm very grateful that it did. So there are a lot of conversations that were unnecessary. He just understood what it is, uh, and he felt the mamai, and he also felt um, that keenness that I think our committee conveyed to actually be able to deliver a better outcome, and finally have um, for, uh, for be able to fulfil those aspirations that our tupuna had about um, having a opportunity having opportunities for their for their whanau and mokopuna to actually work on their land to actually work towards having ownership 
bringing ownership back into um, our hands and also um, getting a better financial outcome. And that has, you know, I'm very pleased to say that we've never been better informed than we are now.